Let's discuss how AI cars have evolved over time and what different types of algorithms they follow in order to figure out what direction they should go in and how they are able to follow a certain track, as well as avoid different types of players and different types of obstruction in front of it. So the first racing game which is considered to have an AI was released by Namco in 1982. So you might have seen this game before or you might have even played it. So let's talk about the, how the AIs work in this game. So the AIs in this game actually follow a certain technique called the line approach. So what generally happens is that developers have predefined a line which follows a track and then all the AI cars generally follow this particular line. They do not know anything else about the environment and they do not care anything about where the player is. All they have to do is follow this particular line. So this was the line approach used at that time because the PCs did not have that much CPU power as they have today. So this approach was used and it worked really well. Now this line approach laid out the basics of what other AI cars used in the future games. So based on this approach, a modified version was made in which rather than making the AI cars follow the line exactly, the AI cars generally tried to move towards this line. So in simple words, they were trying to lurk between their current position and they would try to move towards this line rather than following it rigidly. And this made the AI cars more realistic because in real world, we do not follow a particular track in that exact one line. We generally move from one direction to another depending on the situation. And this made the AI cars look even more realistic. Now after this approach, a modified version of this approach was made which is generally referred to as chasing the rabbit approach as well. And it is even used in some of the games today. Now in chasing the rabbit approach, there's an invisible object in front of your car or in front of the AI car and the AI car generally tries to follow this particular object. Now that particular object might be following a particular line or the particular spline which is defined according to the shape of the track. So all the AI car has to do is follow this particular object and it will be able to maneuver according to the track. However, you need to make sure that the invisible object which the AI car is following is not too ahead of the car. Otherwise, the AI car will start taking shortcut and it will not actually follow the track. So other than this approach, another approach which many games use is the A-star algorithm. So A-star algorithm is basically a pathfinding algorithm which tries to find a path from point A to point B. So what many games do is that they have nodes or points on the track and those points actually follow the actual track. So and the agent generally tries to follow from one point to another or generally tries to move from one point to another. In this case the AI car will be the agent. So what the agent does or what the AI car does is that it moves from point A to point B and once it reaches point B it looks for point C. In this way it is able to actually follow that particular path and moving from point A to point B it actually uses the A star algorithm in order to figure out in which direction it should head. And of course you can do this in Unity as well using the nav mesh agent. So as you can see I am using this approach in order to make this AI car move according to the particular track. And it's very good to see that how the AI car is able to actually figure out where it needs to go next. And but obviously these particular lines which you see is not visible in the game view and it looks like the AI car is just going on its own. But basically in simple words it's just moving from point A to point B and once it reaches point B it starts moving towards point C. However, the physics of the car really matters here in order to give the actual reality of the game or to make the game feel more uh, realistic. Uh, if the car will start turning towards those the next point at a very fast rate, it will not look realistic because that's not what happens in real world. Anyways, the next approach is used by generally big games. So one of the example is Forza. So Forza uses this approach which is also known as the neural networks and there are different ways of using neural network in order to actually make a more realistic racing game. So, but for neural network you might know that you need lots and lots of data in order for the neural network to give you the output which you're expecting. So generally what happens is that there are two ways of doing this. One way is to make the AI car train itself in order to 
figure out where it needs to go next. The other way is to actually use the player data in order to figure out how to drive on a certain track. Now this approach is generally used by Forza. So what it can actually do is that the AI can actually play the way your friend plays and that's what they generally do. But for this approach they need lots and lots of data and if you're an indie developer it's actually very difficult to do because we cannot have that much data at once. Even the first approach needs a lot of CPU power and time because if you want to train an AI car in order to compete with an actual human, it needs to be really good and really smart and it needs to, and it needs to predict really good outcomes in order to actually compete or win the race. So I even tried this approach in Unity and yes you can do this in Unity. So here you can see the AI car is actually learning and eventually it was able to learn a bit in order to figure out in which direction it should head. However, it took a lot of time in order to do this and even right now, obviously it's not perfect, it's actually pretty bad and it generally crashes at a lot of different places and if I put it in a different track, I'm not sure it's even gonna perform the way it's performing here. So, if you're working alone, it's neural networks is a very difficult task because first of all neural networks in general is complicated and it's very difficult to understand it and second of all getting the right outcome according to your game makes it even more difficult. The second approach collecting the data from players needs lots of players. Now what you can also do is that play the game yourself maybe thousand times and then collect that data but that approach will generally be a bit linear because the way you will drive a car and and the way I will drive a car or the way someone else drives a car is different. So in that way all your AI cars will behave in a similar way or in the same way as you drive a particular car even though you have a good data set. Forza uses lots of different servers in order to gather data from thousands of different players. Then they use that data in order to move their AI car more realistically. That's why their AI car behaves in a realistic way even though they are using neural network. But if you're a developer who's working alone, it becomes very difficult to do that because you do not have access to thousands of different types of data from thousands of different types of players. So getting a realistic behavior becomes very difficult when you're using neural network. These are the different uh, techniques which were used by AI cars since the beginning. And if you will notice, they're pretty similar and uh, they were built on top of the line approach, which I discussed in the beginning of the video. So yeah, hope this gives you a bit of idea and hope it was interesting. So thanks for watching this video and have a great day guys.